everybody. Welcome to Talking Pittsburgh Headlines on this Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Karaj. We hope you're having a great day. Glad you're tuning, us up, tuning in with us for your TF headlines. Let's jump right to it. Got a lot of stuff to get to. We'll start with only leave should fall, fall prevention class. That's coming up and we want you to get signed up for it. If you're concerned about falling or have experience the fall, no matter what the case is, you can join uh, the Safe Communities for their fall prevention in Stoughton on Tuesday, September 26th for the free falls prevention event. Lunch is included. Registration is required. You can sign up through Safe Communities website. We'll provide the link when we post up the headlines. This is a great program. We filmed this a couple of times. You can check it out on our video on demand page. Uh, but great uh, to share information. Wisconsin leads on uh, falls and deaths from falls. So we want to do everything we can to prevent falls from happening. Falls are not a part of aging. Just remember that. Fitchburg Parkinson's and Care Partnership Support Group Bingo Fundraiser is happening this week. This will be happening on Thursday, September 21st at the Fitchburg Senior Center. Come on down and support this great group. Suggested donation is $10. You can always share more if you'd like. And the funds go to the Fitchburg Parkinson's and Care Partner Support Group. It's from 1230 to 2 p.m. again at the Fitchburg Senior Center. Come raise some money for a great cause. Badger Prairie Needs Network has a job fair coming up, and if you're interested, we want to make sure you get signed up for this. This is going to be happening on Thursday, September 28th from 1 to 4 p.m. We are teaming up with Job Center of Wisconsin to bring 20 employers to the Badger Prairie Needs Network to learn more and apply to a variety of great employment opportunities. Job seekers may have their resumes reviewed by the Job Center of Wisconsin prior to this event. Resumes uh, needed to be submitted uh, yesterday, but don't fret. You can still get those checked out uh, and reviewed by others if need be, or check in with the Job Center for other resources as they can help you no matter what's going on with your resume. Job fair, though, at the uh, Badger Prairie Needs Network uh, Job Network Fair is happening on Thursday, September 28th. Again, 1 to 4 p.m. at Badger Prairie Needs Network. Public meeting uh, for U.S. 18151 uh, in Dane County is coming up. Want to make sure to share this with you because you might use this route outside of uh, Fitchburg. The meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, September 27th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. at the Verona City Hall, 111 Lincoln Street in Verona. The objective of this meeting is to familiarize the public uh, with the purpose and need for the project and to obtain input on proposed improvements. The purpose of the project is to address safety, route importance, and traffic congestion at 18151 in West Verona Ave Epic Lane Interchange at US 18151 and County G Interchange. For more information uh, or uh, to visit the project website, just search Wisconsin Department of Transportation 18151 County G to Wisconsin Highway 69 in Dane County at wisconsindot.gov. And if you got any questions, you can always check in and email those questions to the project manager or give them a call. The information is on your screen. Finally, we're into uh, rail safety uh, week here in Wisconsin. It's rail safety week is September 18th through the 24th. And uh, the Wisconsin State Patrol has got rail crossing safety as their law of the month. A safe rail industry relies on road users to avoid serious crashes and keep trains moving smoothly through more than 4,000 public rail crossings across Wisconsin. About a dozen people are hurt in a train-related crash every year in Wisconsin. Wisconsin State Patrol Law of the Month is rail crossing safety to remind drivers and other road users to remain alert to avoid those preventable tragedies. Couple of safety points here for you. Drivers must follow warning signs and signals and keep these things in mind. One state law prohibits drivers from going around lowered crossing gates or crossing closely to an approaching train. At uh, adjacent crossings, drivers should look for trains even when there are no warning lights activated. Make sure you have enough room to get safely across the tracks. Sometimes it is heavier traffic and a vehicle can get stuck in the middle of the crossing, which is very dangerous near railroad crossings. Have a great day, everybody.